I look sort of rushed, it's because my AP test starts in like 16 minutes and my computer is sort of locked down and I haven't touched math since I had my final exam and I didn't even study for my final exam. So, you know, we're in for a ride today. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah. This is going to be my summer hopefuls list because now that it's finally summer break, I have like a list of books that I want to finish before I become a college girl. Obviously, I want to finish all the duologies and series that I started in the first half of the year, except for Skull Dog Plus, and I'm very sorry, Yasmin, but that series is just like way too long. Like Derek Landy is still publishing books for Skull Dog Plus, and like there's no way I'm gonna be able to read all of those in like two months on top of this list, so no. No, 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 no. I will maybe make progress in like two to three books. Maybe, maybe, I don't really know. For this list, I have compiled 10 books that I like really, really want to read and just like cross off my TBR. So I've decided to group these books by genre and not really in like reading order or priority. So let's start off with romance because I love romance. Hannah, what's your genre? Okay, I like romance, but like, it, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like that. Mm, I'm not getting that from this. I have Counting Down With You by Tashi. I'm gonna butcher her last name, but Buyan. So I was right and I pronounced it wrong. I like looked it up. There isn't a like pronunciation on her website, but I heard that it's pronounced like Buyan. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but anyways, this is fake dating, but it's set in high school and the female lead is like Desi. I've heard that Ace, the male love interest, is literally like the ideal man. He dedicates the song to Karina. You know, I like fake dating. I've heard great things about this. Also, I think like Chloe Gong, the author of These Violent Delights, and like the author of this book are like close and they were like hyping each other's book up. And you know, I trust them. I'm very easily swayed. Then after that, we're gonna do Counting Down With You, but make it sapphic. So we're gonna do She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quindlen. So it's like more fake dating, but like sapphic. And it's also set in high school, but it's enemies to lovers, which I don't like, but I like fake dating. So. You know, maybe it'll balance out. It's also YA and I don't have as much of an issue with YA enemies to lovers as adult enemies to lovers. So I think like that's that's a redemption, a little, a little bit of saving grace. And then if you thought we were done with fake dating, you would be very wrong because we have Honey and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating by Adiba Jai Girdar. I think I pronounced her last name wrong, but I think I got her first name right. You know, nobody quote me on this though. So I like hope you know, fake dating is just like gonna be a common theme in these books, but this one's also sapphic and it's like an opposites attract romance. It's also set in like a high school and it has to do with popularity, but you know, I'm trying to read more queer romances. My library doesn't even have this one yet. So I'm on like the hold list, but this is like a queer romance focused on women of color. I'm excited. And then finally in romance, so we have love from A to Z. Yasmin and Dana loved this. Could not pour enough love onto this book. This has been on my radar for a little while now, but Yasmin and Dana were really like, you need to read this. What well, I've got, <clears throat> wow, my voice really just went from normal to cigarette smoker real fast. This book is not US centric. I think it's like set in Qatar. It's also like another diverse romance read. The male lead, Adam has like MS and the female lead is Muslim. And I think they're both people of color. I wanna see why they like it so much. I hope it's not like five feet apart and then they die at the end and rip my heart out. I have high hopes for that. And then moving on from that, we have um, contemporary books. We have Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi. Uh, my English teacher from junior year, my Hamlet teacher, loved this. And if you don't know already, I love my English teacher and everything she does. So obviously I have to give this a try. This is about two sisters um, who sort of switch places and do some like sort of shady things in order to help one another. One of the sisters is dying and so like that obviously causes some issues. My English teacher said that she didn't notice that this was YA until like she was close to done with the book because some of the topics were like really mature and the way it was written wasn't like sort of 
dumbed down. It packed a punch, so I'm really looking forward to this. And then finally, this also has to do with my Hamlet teacher. I'm gonna be reading The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wow. This is one of like the few books that I actually own. I was supposed to read this for an author project at the end of my junior year. I have not touched it since I bought it. It's about obviously Oscar Wow, his life, but it's narrated by I think like you not or something like that. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing these names right. And he is a character from BS's previous book, Drown, and he's also like the star of This Is How You Lose Her. It has to do with like literary stuff and things. Yeah. Oh, this is where I left my bookmark. Okay, so maybe I did touch it. I opened it up to chapter one and then I closed the book with my bookmark in it and I haven't found my bookmark since. Love. I'm gonna be reading this before I go off to college. It's a really nice book. It makes from some really nice books for game photos because all the books sort of look the same. And then nonfiction slash self-help slash thingies. This is all my big brain intellectual stuff. I'm gonna be reading Case by Isabel Wilkerson. It's been on my shelf since February because you know, that was Black History Month, but I didn't get around to reading it then. This is actually my aunt's book and like, I don't want to be the reason that she's not getting her book back because my mom also hasn't read it. So if I say I read it and I give it back to my mom, then technically it's my mom's fault that my aunt is getting her book back. So I want to read this. I've heard a lot of great things about this too. I want to learn some things. So this is, this is one of the books. Another book that I want to read, this one is, I think it was like shelved under poetry on Goodreads, but this is Me Letting You Go by Heidi Pree. I'm all about self-help and it's been a while since I've read self-help, so I'm gonna get back into my groove. This is also where I got like the idea that the right person at the wrong time is really just the wrong person. So this book is mainly just about grieving relationships that were deep and meaningful, but just not meant to last. Definitely relevant now that I'm like closing a chapter in my life. Although I wanna cling on to all my friends, I know that not all of them will be with me for like the rest of eternity. Also really short, I think it's only like maybe 200 pages, a little under. We're moving on to some gender reading because I've had a TBR for gender reading since I was like in middle school and I just like have not broken into it. So I want to read The Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. It's about vaginas and it's really just women talking about their vaginas. So we'll see what some people have to say about their vaginas. And finally, my last book on this list is going to be Becoming by Michelle Obama. I started this, but I never finished. I think I've read like maybe a hundred pages and then I stopped because I don't know what happened, but I know I read about her and her brother doing piano lessons. And then I just never got to her actually meeting Barack Obama. You know, maybe that's a little important. And with that, I'm gonna say, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay fresh and I will catch you next time.